What's up, everybody? Welcome to Titanium Vault. I'm your host, RJ Bates III, and today I'm with the man behind Investor Lift, Robert Winsley. What's up, man? What's up? I'm excited for today because today we are going to prove all the naysayers wrong, and we're going to sell one of the deals that you signed up live on Closers Olympics. That's so right. super, super excited. Uh, we're gonna. A lot of people are like, oh, these aren't deals. These aren't deals. They're signed up too high. But what's interesting, so on Dispo Day, we gave all of the closers a shot at your deal one decides to take a shot that was carlos and uh he only had 10 minutes on the clock but he had the perfect buyer on the phone like do you remember that call how did that call go yeah so it was a little bit unique from the the fact that you know i was acquisitions on this deal so i'm sitting back and i'm watching someone else try to dispo my deal um the problem was he knew nothing about it and, and you brought yeah. up a good point like you need to underwrite the deal you need to understand you need to have all of your talking points before you're trying to dispo a deal and he didn't have those he had one objection to overcome and that was essentially how much work does this need to be rent ready and i think it was unanimous between you and jerry norton and david olds y'all all agreed say nothing say zero dollars it's zero rent ready dollars. right now and he said Switch i off. don't know and and the sell the buyer said if you don't know that I'm not interested, click learning lesson right there for everyone that does dispositions. Make sure you have your talking points ready. So today I'm going to use what I consider the most powerful tool in all of real estate investing, investor lift, dispo this deal. Oh yeah. So let's, let's dive into the deal. Let's take a look at it. So uh, do you want to bring up my screen? Do we have my screen up? All right. So we have this song, this, this deal. This is the, the crazy sister deal, I call it. And if you guys missed the acquisitions, uh, day what was that day three? Day three. Uh, it was Saturday. Got. It was Saturday. So day two. Saturday. Day two. Most epic call I've ever heard. I I was watching <laughs> with my team over here. We were like standing up and clapping. Like oh my god, there's so much drama. Funniest acquisition call I've ever heard. Uh, and and you were able to get this under contract. And absolutely incredible call. I love it. You're just sitting there drinking your beer. Like yep. you, you got a beer. I got a beer. Hey, who wants a good beer? Um, so this deal, like, I mean, this is not in bad shape at all. Like if this is a rental, like you said, it's like, it's, it's pretty much turnkey. We're at $79,000 asking price, ARV 125. So gross margin, uh, 46. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's at 69% ARV for a rental. I mean, that's great. And you mentioned this is also really close to the university, right? Which university is this nearby? It's close to Texas Tech. Uh, how how far away? I wonder if we should throw that in the description. I think it's like seven or eight blocks away. It's just the university is just north of it. Key rental. I'm going to put that opportunity blocks away. I'm going to blocks away, away from uh, which university was it? Texas Tech. I say hot. And one of the things I noticed uh, during Dispo Day is you and Jerry and David we're very big on the write-up. Like yeah. this part right here. And, and I think it was David that said, hey, make sure that your write-up essentially sells the deal. Like yeah. they don't have any sure. questions. So when they're coming to you, they know what they're purchasing. Um, that's that's vitally important right there. When did this get sent out? This got sent out on Monday. Monday, we sent it out. And on Artemis mode, we're going to see all the buyers that have interacted with our deal. So we got a few hot leads here. Like Michael, we see that he viewed the property 12 times. So that means he's going back and forth between tabs, probably comping it out um, because he opened and reopened the tab 12 times. He viewed the images 15 times, requested the address, and also submitted an inquiry. So his total action score on this deal is 470. He spent 13 minutes and 31 seconds. So that's that's a, a hot, hot uh, buyer there. We do have a decent amount of buyer leads here from this deal, but then also on neighboring buyers, you can see on the map here, all these other deals are deals that were sold successfully on InvestorLift. So when we turn on neighboring buyers here, uh, which is available on the higher two plans of InvestorLift, we can also see all of the other buyers. And I think that this is the guy that we had on the phone during Closers Olympics that wanted something turnkey. So that also, like I would love, if we can get him on the phone, that might be the perfect buyer. That, that would really bring this whole circle, right? I agree. I, I think that's gonna be my first dial. That, let's do that. I think that's the first dial because we might be, be able to do one call and, and be done with it. Uh, so I think the strategy here is, yeah, start with Thomas, then hit some of these other hot buyers that had a lot of actions, Michael, all that. 
Also on inquiries, I think we have an inquiry here. Yeah, Michael Nosworthy. I'm an investor in Lubbock, Texas, who was in, who was interested in learning more about this this okay, property. No, so Michael's that's interested. Be my first, that's going to be my first dial. He's actually saying I'm interested in this. I want to yeah, learn absolutely. more about it. Absolutely. And look at all this ad, all these address requests. Like we could burn through this list. So we're gonna start off on Armist mode. Uh, if we need to. We can also move over to God mode. So God mode is going to be more like our tradi traditional prospecting. We're actually skip tracing and calling. So in here, we can see all the different buyers that have bought. These are all the flips in real estate investment transactions that have happened nearby. So like there's one a block away here, for example, property partner solutions. We can skip trace them. This does take more time, though, because we're skip tracing. So we're always going to start with Artemis mode because we already have these buyers logged in looking at the deal this is a lot faster and then um if we don't have luck here then we'll move over to god mode so super excited we're gonna sell this deal today 100 percent. let's do it you ready to crush it i'm ready let's do so it. real quick i i want to talk about the flow in which we here at titanium investments use investor lift so whenever we blast out deals of course the first people that we're hitting are always going to be the address requests the inquiries um we have it set up where on the address request they do automatically receive the address i know david old said he doesn't like that because he's worried about the daisy chain aspect for us it's about removing a barrier of entry we just want yeah. them to get the address because we're immediately getting on the phone with them anyways hey you just requested yeah. the address let us sell the deal to you um so that's why for me this michael norsworthy it's like dude he requested the address he spent 13 minutes on there. He went through all of the images and then he inquired and said, I want to learn more about it. So that's where yeah. I'm going to start. Um, it just makes complete sense. So let's get, let's get Michael on the phone here. Oh, it's 214 oh, yeah. number two. So he's based out of DFW. Please record your message. Hey, Michael, this is RJ Bates from Titanium Investments. I'm calling about a property that I have for sale in Lubbock, Texas. You had uh, inquired about more information about it. Just wanted to have a quick conversation, see if we can come to an agreement on it today. Give me a call back. My cell phone number is, so I'm actually going to shoot him a quick text since he's like Smart. our hottest, you know, buyer. Tell him like, hey, give me a call back, man. Let's make this go down. Yeah. Him and Tom are definitely going to be our hottest leads. What's great too is like when you get a super hot lead like that in Artemis mode and like you call them up and it's like one call close, right? Yep. But always always fish for more like I, I think that uh tony mont and eric klein they have a great policy they don't accept an offer until they get three offers i love that okay yeah. so tom uh, he's got an 817 area code which is here in fort worth so it's interesting to see that our our two hottest buyers are based out of dfw yeah very interesting kind of speaks to uh where the market is right now buyers here in dfw yeah. are having to go to outskirt cities your call has been Hey, Tom, this is RJ Bates from Titanium Investments calling about a property I have for sale. Looks like it's a great turnkey rental, and I think that's what you're looking for. So if you could give me a call back at 817-915-6860. Thank you. So when you're in dispositions like this, you know, whenever you make like that templated uh, first text message, you can just turn around and just copy and paste and change out the names. Efficiency. Yeah. And now... On InvestorLift, if you set up your Twilio account, you can do two-way conversational texting through InvestorLift. I know a lot of people still do it through their phone, and the reason being is because they're calling from a different number. But what's coming very soon is built-in dialer inside of InvestorLift with all your call recordings and the ability to have two-way texting with pre-built te templates. So as soon as you hit a, a voicemail, you click a button, boom, you choose a template and drop it. Imagine how much faster that's going to make things. Look at this dude, 124,000. We should yes, call this is how dispo goes. You just got to call, call, just keep calling. So what I'm more interested in than anything is the time that they spent on the deal. I want yeah. to see like right here, five minutes, viewed seven images, and also the email. Like I'm paying attention to their emails and making sure that they're not like part of you know, big box wholesaler. I don't want it to be a new Western or a net yes. worth or something like that. Not that there's anything wrong with those companies, but it's essentially just a JV. Yeah. You just want certainty that's going to close. None of this three day inspection period bullshit where they just try to daisy right. chain. We'll give you $10 for a three day option period. <laughs> Classic daisy chain. Thanks for missing your call. 
you could leave a detail. Call him back. Whoa, this is RJ. Hey, RJ. Just got missed call. Hey, Ricky. Uh, I was calling about a property that I have for sale in Lubbock, Texas. Looked like you were on my buyer's list here and just wanted to reach out and see if that was something that you might be interested in uh, taking a look at. I just got done watching you on Soldier Olympic. <laughs> you want to buy my deal? <laughs> Let me give it to you real quick. So this is the deal. Since you watch Closers Olympics, this is actually the deal that I locked up on Saturday. Um, it's uh, the address is. It's on like Investor Lift or MLS or what's it on? <laughs> Both actually. Oh, really? Yeah. So it was listed on the MLS. So this is the one where the crazy sister listed it on the MLS with a uh, realtor that ghosted them. And so the brother is actually the executor of the estate. And so that's the one I talked to. So he's the one that signed the contract. Property's in really good condition. Pretty much a turnkey rental. Doesn't doesn't need anything to be ready. We've got good pictures on InvestorLift. You can see them on Zillow or Redfin as well. What are y'all, is it, are y'all asking 85 for it? No, we're asking 79. 79. So I've got it conservatively at 125, but I have two comps um, in the area. One uh, sold for 147 in June, and then another one sold for 167 in December. Same square foot and everything. Could you? Um, I'm at. I'm getting my oil change right now. If you wanna, you got my number. Can you text me? Um, let me see if I can find the investor link. I don't know if I got it on my email. Yeah, let me text it to you real quick. Yeah. So let me ask you, I mean, are you looking for rentals or are you looking for flips? Well, we just bought one sub two as a rental. And then for cosmetic flips, it's got to kind of make sense. Probably like maybe like 75 cents a dollar if it's cosmetic. And then, um, you know, track rate and stuff like that. That's 69 right. cents. Yeah, this one, I mean, if it's 129 is what you're saying, 129 times 75 cents. Seventy-nine. Seventy-nine. And then it's vacant. I close it, or is it still occupied? No, it's going to be vacant. Yeah. Um, I haven't ever bought in Lubbock, Texas. I, I mean, it doesn't look like a bad house. It's been Dude, it is. It's like seven or eight blocks away from Texas Tech University. Oh, okay. So my opinion is, is like you do nothing to it. You just take it down, do it, do a refi on it, keep it as a rental, and put college students in there, and you can just turn and burn in cash flow for years on it. What do you think the rent rate is on this one? Let me pull that up real quick. I don't have that in front of me. I would yep, just just based off of my guess, I'm gonna assume at least thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred. Yeah. Yeah, it's a two one, or is it yeah two one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if um if you want to send me the investor lift link. I'm assuming that's how the number came up. I'm guessing. Yep. Um, so yeah, I just sent it to you. Yeah, man, we we that neighborhood's chock full of rentals, anywhere from twelve hundred uh, to fourteen hundred. Okay. Yeah. No, I'll take it out. Um, and then good job winning that contest. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let, let me ask you this, because I mean, I'm wanting to, I'm wanting to get this deal moved, and uh, I've got to I've got to dispo this because uh, you know I went and participated in a contest and. <laughs> now it's my job to sell this thing and I'm not one to sit here all day. So, I mean, on, on a scale of like one to 10, how serious are you about potentially buying it? I know if, if, if it's at 1300 rent and it looks like it's moving ready. I mean, my purchase price right now is close to 74 and I know you're trying to get 78. I don't know if that's like my lock in number, but just kind of doing my simple numbers, knowing what interest rates are, I could probably cut a little bit like 150 bucks, 175. So it, it may be a deal for me, but again, like, I don't know if I'm ready to make a decision right now. I got you. So I, one thing that I would recommend if you're going to go run your numbers is pull comps on it. And, and I think I'm being conservative at the 125. That right there might move the needle for you. If this is actually an, an ARV of, you know, 145 or 150, would that make a big difference for you? I would probably, I mean, I would, with these interest rates, I mean, I'm, I can get about six and a half probably right now with my credit and income. But if I were to do a flip, I see it on the market for 89. I'm curious why it hasn't sold. 
it's been on market for 100 days. Because the, the realtor ghosted them. Like, oh, so like, they're, so, so like no, any offers that's been accepted or even pending the, isn't getting relayed over, I guess. Yeah, they, they literally cannot contact the realtor. They they don't know if, if the realtor died, died or just like, it's just gone. And like I said, the sister is the one that signed the listing agreement, and she didn't even have the right to do that. The so brother so is the executor of the estate. Can the, the next buyer that buys it, are they allowed to perform on it? Is that, is that possible? Yeah. Well, the, even though there's an agreement, listing agreement in place? There's a, there's a listing it? agreement in place with someone who doesn't have the power to sign the listing agreement. I see. I see what you're saying. They weren't even the deed holder, maybe. Right. Or the brother is the decision maker and he's like so when i talked to him he's like dude i did, we've got a realtor i don't even know who this person is yeah, they're yeah, gone yeah. they didn't even have a right to do this and he's like i want to be done and he's like my crazy sister is like i i just i don't ever want to talk to her again so he's like dude if you can buy this and and get this out of my life forever so honestly, at this point, man, I'm just trying to like help them out and make a little bit of money. I mean, I, I don't have a big spread on this, so I don't have a, a ton of room to negotiate. But I, I feel like I'm trying to be as conservative as possible with my numbers there. Because like just looking at it, like when I've got a 147 and a 167 comp, we're saying the ARV is 125. I feel like we're being pretty conservative there. But with 1300 in rent and you don't have to do anything, and if you're able to get in, you know, in the 70s, it feels... It was pretty decent, you know. Do you know about the electrical or AC at all? Big, uh, big button. Yeah, every everything is functional. Um, actually, I believe. Don't hold me to this. I'll have to go back and and review my film on this. But I I'm almost positive it has a newer roof on it as well. Yeah, I know they didn't take one of the outside. I was trying to see if they didn't turn the HVAC air handler. If you look on Investor Lift, the link that I text you. Um, I've got like 13 pictures, including a picture from the outside. Okay. Okay. Well, sweet. Yeah. Um, I'm at, I'm at the mechanic shop. I'm just about to be done. Um, maybe in about 30 minutes, I can just underwrite it quicker. I've seen it go back home and then I can just, uh, what I'll do, RJ, is I'll call you back an hour and just give you a yes or no, just so you don't have to wonder. Okay. Sounds good, Ricky. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Boom. <laughs> How funny was that? He watched you on Closer's Olympics, and now he's on Armist Mum by his What's he's funny like, is he said he watched Closer's Olympics, but he didn't really know a whole lot about this deal. So he much of must have watched like Sunday, or maybe he watched yeah. Dispo Day. Maybe he watched Dispo Day. So that was cool. Very cool. All right, so we got a pretty good lead there. Yeah, very felt, good lead. Felt pretty good about that. Let me go back here in the Artemis. This is mode. a deal. This is definitely a deal. Buyer score four hundred eighty-six thousand. Damn, yeah, that's a high buyer score. Let's uh, let's call this man. What are your thoughts about high buyer scores like that? Is that do you think that's a good lead or? It depends. It depends on where the buyer score is coming from. Uh, there are some guys that just like spam the system to get their score up. So we're going to be breaking down the scores now. Uh, on a, a new update, it's going to be flip score, buy and hold score, and then action score. This is David. Hey, David, this is RJ Bates from Titanium Investments. How are you doing? Well, I'm pretty darn good. How are you doing? Pretty good, man. Uh, I've got a property in Lubbock that I'm looking to, to wholesale. And, uh, I'm... I, don't, I don't buy properties. I just finance properties. So I, I, uh, you can take me off your list as a buyer. I'm not a buyer. Oh, man, your, your name is all over the place as a buyer. Okay, I apologize about that. No worries. No worries. Have a good day. All right. Bye-bye. What did he say? He's not a buyer. He's he said he's a lender. He's not a buyer. Ah, interesting. Interesting. So how would that I wonder if he's doing like private money? Oh, here we go. Ah, this is the reason why. Check this out. Look, I provide owner financing in Lubbock, Texas. If you need mm. help finding properties or needing owner finance, I might have a solution. There we go. So they're all under his LC. Right. Okay. So if you had a buyer that needed financing, he your would guy. be your solution. So for example, if I called someone right now and they said, hey, I'm interested in buying your deal, but I don't have financing, I could call David back and say, hey, David, we can go. finance this for our buyer. You know what, I, the, the other thing too is he probably knows who the buyers are in Lubbock. I think what he's doing there is, um, I think this is for people that want to owner finance or seller finance, but they can't. Mm -hmm. So they're finding the the contractor that can't get financing and they can't go get a refi loan themselves. They're mm -hmm. using David 
and make it a very small margin. He's very probably margin. still financing at like eight percent. Could be because I thought about asking him that, but I don't. I don't think that he's even messing with investors on any level outside probably. of the fact that they have someone that wants it. But dude, he is all over the place on these properties, so he's done a ton of. Yeah, fun. he's got literally hundreds. The other thing is, is you can also tell by the way he navigated that conversation is that he is regularly getting blown up for people wanting to buy the property. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. I noticed he changed his email on InvestorLift to d's.nuts at gmail.com. <laughs> uh, so that buyer immediately said, hey, will you please text me? Nice. I got another one for you, another one on God Mode. Tons of phone numbers. Um, Brandon, what's his name? Drop that in chat. Victoria Crown Investments. Where did you find that one? So that was another one that's showing up in God Mode with a really high score. Well, a, dec a decent mid-tier score, actually. Um, 16,000 buyer score, which is right in the sweet spot that I really like. I got two phone numbers for him. Okay. Thank you for calling Progressive Properties. Oh, I hit zero and it hung up on me. All right. Try that again, because that just sent us to like a, a phone system. Mm. He might be a big time buyer. Hello, this is RJ Bates from Titanium Investments. I was reaching out because I have a property that I'm looking to to sell in Lubbock. It looks like you guys are, are buyers out there. I was wondering if there was someone I could speak to about that. Um, yes, yeah. so what was your name again? My name is RJ Bates. And you're looking to uh, do what again? I'm sorry. I have a property that I'm looking to sell in Lubbock. Okay, perfect. This feels like a wholesale operation. Is this Brandon that you're calling? Yeah. He's bought, closed on 16 deals in Lubbock. Nice. And uh, what was your phone number? Uh, my phone number is... And what was the address of the property you want? It is 17 in Lubbock. Uh, was it residential or commercial? It's residential. All right, perfect. I will have somebody give you a call back and um, they'll uh, give you all the details and stuff, okay? Okay. Um, do you know when they're going to be able to call me back? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd love to be able to talk to somebody. I know they're in a training, but I mean, this could be real life training. I mean, uh, okay. <laughs> you're just saying. Yeah. Let me pass over your information um, right now and then they should just give me a call back. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Oh my God. I love your one liners. I know they're in a training, but this could be real life training. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, come on. I love hey. that. We're not going to take that seller's call because we're going to sit in here and we're going to talk about buying properties. Like, what? Yeah. So here on this buyer, he's got his LLC linked up to his profile, which means we can see all the deals he's done. So, so he these buys are all the owners. properties that he's bought right here? Yeah. These are ones he's flipped. Oh. We're, we're adding the buy and hold soon, but he's flipped 16 properties all in Lubbock. So this is a prime, prime buyer. So if we get three yeses, I think we could push it to 85. Be like, look, 85, we can get this done right now. Hello? Hi, it's Mary there. Mary. Hey, Mary, this is RJ Bates from Titanium Investments. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, um, I've got a property that I'm looking to assign in Lubbock, Texas. And uh, I know that you have purchased a property out there before. Are you, uh, are you currently looking to pick up any properties here in Texas? Um, you want to send me the information? Send it to Mary at, I, at uh, realpro.com. Is it a multi-unit or is it a single family? It's a single family. It's basically oh, okay. a turnkey rental. No, no, no. I'm not interested in that, but um, I appreciate the call. But hold hold on. So you're buying, multi -units. you're buying multi-units? I've got eight units yeah. in Laredo, Texas. Um, send, send it to me. It's, it needs a lot of work, more work than what it's going to cost. So I'm, I'm asking probably 150 on that. Probably needs about 200 work. So you're going to be 350 all in and eight units can rent out for 800 a piece. So 6,400 a month in rent. Does that sound like what, something what you, you think want? They're worth? Uh, well, I've got, I've got another four unit around there. That's in pretty rough condition that they're asking 349. So I think you're going to be in pretty decent shape. It's a little bit difficult to find other eight units in the area, but I mean, basically a 2% rental it's, it's in Laredo, Texas. Do I don't have know. It under contract or do you own it? No, I have it under contract. And you're willing to assign the contract? Or yes. Well, send me the information. I'll pass it on to, to my acquisitions manager. Okay. Uh, if you send it to Mary at... Re gotcha. Okay. All right. Thank you. I will send that over. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. There we go. So... 
<laughs> you just teed up another buyer for your other deal. Right? If you don't know, that was the deal I locked up on Sunday to win the Closers Olympics. Which, yeah. by the way, dude, but- I think that deal is going to fly. I just got to mm-hmm. get pictures on it. What I'm doing, guys, by the way, behind the scenes is as RJ is talking to these buyers, I'm going to their buyer profiles and updating their profiles. So, for example, like that is clearly just a multifamily buyer. So I just updated her buy box so that she only gets multifamily and no longer gets single family. They have done a lot of single family in the past. They did buy single family previously last year in Lubbock. But if they've moved on to multifamily, we don't want to harass them with single family stuff that doesn't meet their buy box. Especially when you have multifamily for sale. So, like, we have another multifamily in Massachusetts. I just didn't want to hit her with like, well, I've got Massachusetts. I've got Laredo. Now we know what we have. So we're just going to email everything that we've got over to her. That right there, that could be a $100,000 phone call. Yeah. Because I have two multifamily that would equal $100,000 in assignments. This is cool. No one's seen this before. Okay. Check this out. Investor left on the mobile phone. Okay. This is just a demo, but pretty soon... You're going to be able to have investors on the mobile phone with two-way messaging, just like, just like you know, if you're DMing someone on Instagram or whatever, having two-way conversations with your buyers through the app. And what's going to happen is when people hit this on their phone, it's going to load up the AI's recommendations on the best deals for them based on what they've done in the past on or off of InvestorLift, just every day giving them the perfect deals. And I'm thinking of doing it kind of like Tinder where you can like swipe left, swipe right. And then if you swipe right, then it moves over to favorites. And then from favorites, then you can, these are like the properties I'm running due diligence on. And then finally you got your offers tab where you go make your offers. Okay. Here we got one here. FGMS Holdings, 40,000 buyer score. See that victory crown investments? Yeah. That's that was one of our leads, right? Yeah. That's the one that's looking at it right now. Yep. See FMS Holdings. These like weird company names are oftentimes difficult to find. <clears throat> but it's all about, I mean, we do have a lot of phone numbers. Do you want to just take a shot at the f- first phone number here? I mean, this is going to be LLC skip trace, but like, I mean, this guy's yeah, 40,000. I'll give you the top three here. Vito is a registered agent. Pretty high buyer score. Ooh, Ganoa House Flippers. I like that. Um, so what's funny is Thomas Land Properties hit me back. Says he buys in South Carolina only. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Tag him. We're him. still this one over here, man. <laughs> Yeah, love it. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing about Dispo. Like, if they don't have the want what you got, take a shot at something else. Uh, do you see my screen? Yep, yep. So this is the company we just talked to. Look at all the deals they're doing. Love it. And right in our area, look, they've already done two. Our our, our deals like right here. They've done yep. two within a few block radius. Okay. Um, let's switch back over to camera and let me find you another one. Yeah. South Carolina guy just sent me a message and said, how much for those properties? So boom, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to sell deals in South Carolina too. <laughs> that's, but this is what you do right here. I mean, this is how you generate activity. So now I've got to look at those properties. Yeah, go do that. I'm going to go tee you up with some more leads from God mode. Dude, I love what you've done with Investor Lift. It's changed our business, so appreciate you coming on. And bro, spending four hours and forty minutes watching me just call buyers. I love it. I love doing. I I, I love doing this at least once per month because it gives me ideas. Even just on this call, I'm like, 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 damn, we got to add some filters to Artemis mode. I think Artemis mode, we got to change it to like a Kanban board, so it's like left voicemail, contacted, right, interested, not interested, and you're just pushing people through the Kanban. So I've had a lot of ideas on how we can make this even better. Just while I've been sending notes to my dev team this entire time on like, here's some stuff we can make better. So uh, yeah, super valuable. I actually got a ton of value from this. Hey, man, this is RJ Bates from Titanium Investments calling about 17, 15, 44 Street. Uh, just wanted to give you a call. Um, I actually got an offer on the property for someone. Uh, they did come in below my asking price. And so, like I said, I, I wanted to give you a shout. Um, I know you said you were working on the number, so I'm going to shoot you a text message. I, I don't want to accept the other offer. I'd rather do the deal with you. So I'm going to shoot you a text message. Hopefully you get back to me so we can do the deal. Give me a call back, 817-915-6860. Thank you. All right, send him a text. Said, hey, man, got an offer on 171544th Street below my asking, though. Don't want to accept that offer because I feel like they're just beating me up to see if I'll accept their counter. Hopefully I get a call back. Hello, this is RJ. Hey, RJ, it's Dane. How are you doing, man? Good. Man, uh, is there any way you can wait until, like, like let's say, like 10 o'clock tomorrow or later? Because I'm waiting 
I got you. Um, Yeah, I mean, basically, the guy just beat me up for a couple of grand just because, in his words, you called me. I didn't reach out. And I'm like, all right, well, that doesn't really mean that I have to take a couple of thousand dollars off my asking price. I'm like, what do you do? What do you do? Hit you at 73? No, nah, he hit me at 75. That's fun. That's fun. He's like, well, you called me out of the blue, wanted me to buy your property. And I'm like, dude, you bought a property around the corner for more than what I'm asking for a worse property. I'm like, I, I, I get, say what? Uh, he's got a nine seven two number, but he does, he has he's done a, quite a few deals in Lubbock. I think he's done like twelve properties in Lubbock. So, you want me asking what is your name? Uh, let me look real quick. Yeah, get, give me one second here because I just put them down as Lubbock Pyre. I didn't. I I had to look at yours because I've got so many people calling me. It, it's under his wife's name, Connie. You know Connie? Uh, no, he's a white guy. Yep, that's what it is. Yeah, is that his name? And I just assumed it was his wife's name? Uh, yeah, dude, I know, of, I know of that dude. Uh, I know of that dude. I don't know if he's actually in love, but I know there's a couple of properties I've ran across that he had, uh, like, he got him under contract before I even put an offer. Right. And that's what he's trying to do right now. He's, like, trying to put me in a rock in a hard place. Exactly. Dude, if you will give me and tell the boy, bro, I'm... I'm what, is it, what is it contingent on? Like, your funding? No. Right. The two ones, Platt Park, there's not many of them. Most than, you know, if you get more specific, it gets even like, it, it, there's just not many sales right there of the two ones. Right? Like, I've got 11 comps, but they're all from, you know, there's only one in 2023. You know, and it was in March. So I'm just waiting on confirmation that my comps are good uh, uh, from my analyst. And he stopped working at, well, here, here's what I was looking at. Let me let me pull something up so you can look at it and you can verify it with me because maybe this will make you feel better. Give me a second. Pull this up. But my thing, you know, I, I wanted to let you know kind of my structure. But, like, whenever I, uh, when I typically make offers, I don't typically make them to offers very, very closely. Right. So, like, if I can do the, uh, the 79, I can do it. But, like, if I, if I really do offers, I got you. So, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I got you. All right. Well, so you think like 10 o'clock tomorrow you can give me a shout? Well, yeah, just give me a shout in the morning. I'll I'll hold this other guy off. And then, uh, yeah, give me a call. And let me know what you can do, okay? That sounds good, man. All right, man. Right, man. I appreciate you. Hello, this is RJ. Hey, RJ. How are you doing this morning? What's up, Zane? What's going on, man? Uh, trying to get over my allergies, man. It's killing me today. <laughs> That's awful. Yeah. So what you got for me? Okay. All right. Can you close by the end of this month? Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, I can. I can close by the end of this month. All right. Because we actually have a closing date for August thirty first. So seventy five. That's uh, non contingent on anything. How much earnest money are y'all putting down? Uh, Period, but 
Right. I mean, typically, because we're wholesaling it, we like to get something non-refundable down with a little bit of meat on the bone. Um, how long of an inspection period are y'all wanting? All right. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. Right. Is there any any way you could come up to like 77? So I, I didn't really want to go down to 75 just because like that doesn't have me making a whole lot, you know, and, and I get where you're coming from um, on on the price there, um, you know, with your ARV being one 122. But I mean, could you come up to like 77 for me? Because if you do, if you do the seventy-seven, I'll work with you on the inspection period and the earnest money and stuff. Because like the other guy was willing to at seventy-five, he was willing to put down five thousand non-refundable with no inspection period. But like I said, I don't really like him. Yeah, I just I just didn't like the way he talked to me. So it's kind of like I just don't really want to do business with you. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Hello. Hey, RJ. What's going on? All right, this is what I can do. I can do on the, uh, uh, I, I, I really can't do more than 75, but I did talk to Austin. So what I can do is I can do a thousand to earnest, and I can also close it at 14. Okay. So I can speed everything up a lot. <clears throat> so you can close by what, like the 18th? Yes. Okay. What's the, uh, what's the entity name? The entity is, a- is Thunder and two different words? Yeah. And it's S O N, right? It's S U N. Thunders. Yeah. Thunder Sun Inc., right? Can you text me over an email to, to send this assignment to? Yes, I can. Let me send it to you. Um, I'll send it to you right now. Tell me you need to. Did you get that? Yep. All right. Give me just a few seconds here. I want to make sure you get this and make sure there's no questions on it or anything. On the name of the signer, is it you? Austin, H-U-G-H-E-S? Yes, it is. Yeah, H-U-G. Sorry, I didn't want to make sure. sure All right, I just sent that over to you. Let me know if you got it and if you have any questions on there, if everything looks correct. All right, that looks good. Let me send this over to uh, Austin. I'll give you a call back. All right, appreciate you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, man. All right, bye-bye.